In this lecture, we'll learn how to draw rings and chains. So when you come to the main tool palette, it contains ring tools and also chain tools of different types and sizes. So for instance, if you come to this one, it says cyclopropane and then this is cyclobutane. You have cyclobutane you have cyclohexane and 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 so forth and so on so you just can come in for instance select benzene and just draw you can also right click you can sorry you can left click and then move it around to position it any way that you need it for benzene and for the others as well you can also left click again and then hold the alt key to sprout so you can sprout it and also move it around as well so you can always do that and get this so that is basically how you draw your rings and you can do same for all the other types so for instance you can choose this one and just make it let's say horizontal you can also go for vertical and there you go so it's quite interesting what you can do you can always also come to the side and choose add bond to to them if you need them so you can always do that so it's very flexible what you can do with this You can also draw the localized rings for aromatic structures. So let's say you select cyclohexane and then you can hold the control key once you click and then it adds a localized ring for you. You can let's say choose cyclooctane and hit control and you can also let's bring it here control and there you go these are some of the things that you can do with ring drawing now for chains you can also come to the main tool toolbar and you can see this point you have chain tools you can tear it down and under the chain tools you have a side click so you have a side click chain and you also have snaking chain so if you want to draw an acyclic chain, you just select this one and there you go. So it's acyclic. So the more you move, the more the chain, the hydrocarbons are changing to like the numbers. So you have eight, or sorry, you have nine and you can move in and on, or you can also reduce it back. You can also move it around this way. So yeah, and for the snaking, chain you can just draw it any way that you need so you can even come back complete it and then or move around like that so you can always do your own snaking chain you can however also select your acyclic and then as you're drawing you hold control and it becomes a snaking chain so you can also explore that so that is basically how you draw chains you can also go to file and document settings and from document settings you see that the chain from the drawing tab you see that you have chains so at the chains you see that the angle is 120 degrees and that is what we have so you have 120 degrees between them you can however change it to whatever angle that you need and it will also reflect so you have it this way now so you have 30 degrees between them now so that is all about chains and rings and we'll do some interesting stuff around these as well